Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. No, you got it wrong. I am not learning the piano. I'm too old to learn the piano. I'm never going to be ever any good at the piano. But my daughter is learning the piano. Kira is learning the piano. She's getting piano lessons. We bought, uh, we bought this Yamaha P125 because we cannot afford a, a real piano. It's a full-size keyboard. The keys are weighted. So in other words, they, are, uh, they, they, they feel different down this end than this end. This is heavier. So the key is heavier to press down. But we're going to make a stand for it. Now you can buy a stand for it. The stand that you buy for it looks like, looks like this, okay? Uh, actually, this is a picture of it. The uh, reason I didn't buy it, it's, it's expensive, the stand is. And number two, it's made from particle board. And I live by the sea. And uh, the humidity and that is not good for a particle board. Plus, I don't like the feet on the bottom. So I'm going to make something similar to this, but I'm going to make it from marine plywood or marine grade plywood, I should say, which is WBP. And we are going to make it and we are going to paint it in the matte black, spray it in the matte black that we have here. So uh, I have a sheet of plywood here. It's only going to take a small amount of it. I'm going to cut it on the, on the saw and uh, and then what happened is we are going to make a, a, a solid uh, hardwood leg instead of this uh, bracket they put on the end. And we have to make this bracket where it attaches. It, it attaches here uh, so that the bracket goes here and up here and attaches to the side. And we discovered what size it is by trial. I know it's going to be metric because it's Yamaha and it's number five. So if you're wondering what size screw you need, it's number five, number five screw. So you'll only need four of them. If you're going to make this one yourself, like me, if you want to. Uh, but if you want to make it from plywood or if you want to make it from something else. So uh, as you see, there's, uh, there's, there's actually only three pieces of wood to make this up and, and this, this is the one on the back, I, I, it's still a little bit big and uh, this one will cut in half. Plywood is expensive, so you plan out what you're going to do first, what sort of pieces you might need left. So what I done was, before I cut this up, I cut this corner out of this one and that's all the wood we need because we, this is almost the right size. And this one is almost the right size because this is 26 inches, but we're going to make it a little bit less because we're putting feet on it. So that it, I left this 53 inches while I'm cutting it. So the measurements I will give you now, the overall width, so we, the overall width is the width minus uh, f of this one will be the overall width less to the double thickness of the three quarter inch plywood or the 18 millimeter plywood. So we'll calculate that. I'll give you all the measurements in the description. Don't worry about that. And uh, this one, I have this one in at six and one quarter. Don't ask me why, I just, uh, I didn't guess it. I kind of looked at the picture and I scaled it down and then uh, with no measurements. 26 inches is the height. Your finished height is gonna be 26 inches. That's going to make your piano 28, the keys 28 and one quarter inch above the ground, which is pretty much average for a Yamaha piano. And even, a, even a Yamaha grand piano is 28 and one quarter inches off the ground, as far as I know, give or take an eighth of an inch. So we are going to aim for our keys at 28 and a quarter. By doing that, this piece should be 26 inches long. So including the leg, okay, on the leg that we're going to sink it into. It's nice plywood. It's a lot better than, than particle board. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of finishing on it. It's not, not perfect, but we, we will get it there. So we just rounded off the corners on the uh, on these sides, not not on the bottom and the top of the, of the sides, 
and on the, the, the middle piece. Uh, we don't do the ends as well. We're going to make up a small piece of uh, one by one here for attaching to this. So we'll screw it into this and then into this rather than screw through the plywood. Plywood here is uh, made from Luan, the outside. It, it absorbs quite a bit. So we're going to give, I'm going to give it a, a coat of, uh, of primer or sealer, uh, especially on the edges and maybe a second one before we sand it. It'll harden it up. It'll raise the green as well. So. We we'll just use a normal primer. You can use sand and seal. A lot of people say we won't use sand and seal for the the reason they they say sand and seal and doesn't mix with uh, with other paints later. But I never found that. But I'm going to use white primer on this instead. So. Uh, especially on the ends now, it'll soak in, it'll soak in, maybe give it three coats on the ends before, and then we'll probably give it a little bit of a filling as well. So, I'll uh, paint the ends as well, uh, even where they're joined. I'm going to leave it that it can be dissembled itself. I think I will anyway. I'm, go I'm going to plug some of the holes, but not all of them. So, we just, uh, we paint all, 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 all of it. It will soak in. If it's not thin enough, just add a little bit more to it, and uh, you don't want to build up a, uh, a layer on it. You can use a roller if you want to do it quicker. We will make up the, the, the little pieces here, and we'll make up the feet. I'm making them from mahogany, because mahogany is a little bit stronger, harder wearing. Uh, the piece here doesn't matter what it's made from, but we'll probably use a bit of mahogany as well. So then you just get yourself a, a sharp chisel and uh, no, need for, no need for it to get excited. You just, uh, preferably not too wide. You can use a wide one for cleaning it off afterwards, but a, a thinner chisel goes down either. No need for, uh, for a mallet or a, or a hammer or anything for that matter. Just take the first little piece here first and push down and twist a little bit like that and then again. And if you take little slices like that, it's much easier. You can put your hand on the back of the chisel if you like. And you can tidy it up later on. You may need to use the mallet on some of it, but I don't think so. If you kind of, rather than go just straight down, come in like that, that means you're slicing into the wood. So then you'll have your piece of wood here, then you'll have your piece of plywood here to make sure that it's going to fit in. If it's a little bit too 
No, don't make it too tight. You might crack the sides off this. Going like this, better off doing one side along first and then turning it around because you're going like that rather than going with this. This is an unnatural way of doing it. Uh, we have the, have the two uh, legs done up, or bases done up. I just gave it one skim on the bottom here. Uh, I don't really like using epoxy unless I have to. There's no need to use epoxy on this. I'm going to use wood glue. So I'm, used to, I'm using a tight bond. Uh, so uh, I'll give it a tap in first, and then we will use the clamp to squeeze it in the rest of the way. I dry fitted it already, so it will work. And uh, So I'm going to put the glue in now and it should squeeze out then uh, I'm going to spread it a little bit I'll get a little bit of I think we'll be able to work this back in again so uh, so you go in left and right so you squeeze it a little a little and it will go in for sure it will go in and I can see the glue coming out already. And on the bottom, yeah, there's more glue coming out on the bottom than here, actually. So when it doesn't go any further, you can mark one quarter of an inch along it if you want to, if you're worried. But usually the clamp will become too hard to, tur to turn, and then you know you're already in then. Now you can either leave the clamps in or take them out, but I'm going to leave them in. I'm going to clean off this then with a rag, and then we're going to do the other one. I screwed these pieces on here, uh, they're going to stay there. Uh, this one, uh, the screw will be going through here for the one going along. Uh, that will be removable so we can take this apart if we want to. And there uh, we have filled them up a little bit there and sanded them and uh, we are going to uh, prime the hardwood and then we will spray them. Now for the brackets, you saw me bending them outside there. Uh, the bracket, uh, we made this from stainless steel from an old tank. We used that old tank for lots of jobs over here. This one uh, is 145 millimeters long. We made this. Uh, we made it 70 this way. This way didn't matter what's left over. It's about 25 or 30 millimeters. It's 30 millimeters that way. So out of the bench to where the hole is, is 54 millimeters. And between each centers here is 110 millimeters. Because it's made by Yamaha, everything is going to be, dimensions are going to be done in metric. So we're just going to drill them. We'll drill them a little bit bigger. Uh, we're, as we said, we're using a 5 millimeter screw. But we're going to use a, bit, uh, a 15 64 uh, bit for these. So there'll be a little bit of freedom in them. And then when we tighten them, we will put a washer on them. So I decided to paint them before I assemble it for the simple reason then that when we assemble it, if we paint it and then we disassemble it, the, the paint line, the crack on the paint line might, uh, might, will, will break away. So for taking apart, uh, so we'll just paint it. I'll paint the bottom of it first and then I should be able to stand on its own. Uh, you, you really, I'm going to wear a mask as soon as I'm finished doing here. This is matte.
I will do the bottom again. The bottom is not so important. I'll try and get one coat on. Try not to go too much on. Don't try, if you get a dribble, you're in trouble. And then we'll go and give it a second coat. After we give it a second coat. I really need to be wearing a mask now. I'll go this side. I have the door open there for ventilation. And I have a fan behind me here, behind the camera. And what I do is I, 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 I let it, uh, don't let it fully dry. You, you want to keep painting? And then you go over the other side. And it's almost dry over here now. When it's, you want to get the next coat on while it's, while it's tacky. Uh, excuse the noise there, but I have to have the door open. And then the second coat will stick better rather than letting it fully dry. And then, uh, same when you're doing epoxy uh, on, your, on boats and things like that. You don't let it fully dry, but this dries fairly fast, this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to paint all these parts here now. Uh, so that turned out not too bad. Uh, we, we fixed these brackets to, uh, to the keyboard first, and then we marked here, and then we fixed it to this, because that's the way, this will not be, you have no access to these two screws once it's on the piano or on the keyboard. So uh, I'm going to just put it onto the, onto it now screw it on so it's easy to remove as I said earlier these are the middle bar can be taken off right that's why we have them screws there so we're just going to drop it down there there is a place there where the wood goes on it inside this lip so if you're thinking that it should be level with the outside no it shouldn't be level with the outside it's meant to be in over an eighth of an inch so put them in by hand first And then we'll tighten them up. Now I wouldn't be bothering tightening them terrible amount. I'll tighten them just enough. Don't tighten them, over tighten them. You could break. Now, now Kira is going to play the piano for you now when she comes in from school. So uh, I'm going to lift this on my own. It is heavy enough. You see, these, this, this keyboard has uh, speakers here, but it also has speakers underneath. So putting it onto a table, it would not be such a good idea. 28 and 3 sixteenths. So almost 28 and a quarter, which is the correct size for, 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 uh, for, for the piano. So Kira is going to play it for you now.
Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all again soon.